Hello Excel friends, still stuck with VLOOKUP functions and trying to find the value matching certain criteria. Let's dive into using combination of index and match functions in Excel. Firstly, we should know what is index and match formulas do in Excel. Very briefly, index gives you a value based on a row and a column number. Match function tells you the position of a value in a range. Now let's explore how we can use these formulas in combination. Imagine you are working in an HR department of a company with over 250 employees. Your supervisor has just sent you an Excel file containing each employee's contact details and salary information. He has asked you to extract the following from the data, the name and the contact information of 10 specific employees, IDs provided separately, Let's use Excel index and match functions combination to get this done quickly and accurately. This is the Excel sheet which your HR supervisor has sent you. And he wants that you should populate the employee name and addresses against these 10 unique IDs. For that, to do we, what we will use index and match function in combination. So first you need to, you need to write equal to, then start typing index bracket start and then you need to tell Excel what you're looking for you're looking for employee name so in the employee records you need to go and select the employee names column then put comma and then start the criteria you need to tell Excel what is the criteria so for the for criteria we will be using match function so you just type M A T C H match bracket start and then we need to tell the employee ID which is in B3 you put comma and then in the employee records we need to select employee ID because this B3 value Excel will search in the the column which we are going to tell which is this B column and for the exact match we need to put zero and then bracket close and then close again so Excel has given us the return value for this employee ID. The employee name is Samuel Clark. What we are going to do, we can we are going to clean this data information. So for cleaning the formula, we need to secure these or log these cells. For that, the short key is F4. F4. And then personally, I don't like this because if you are working in the same sheet we don't need the sheet name so we can simply say b3 over here and take out that information from the formula and then log these columns as well so that when you copy paste the formula is not disturbed so you what you can do either you can drag or copy paste so again We have covered how the index and match combination works in Excel. Here's a quick recap of why many prefer it over VLOOKUP. It gives more flexibility. You can look up values to the left or the right of your reference column, unlike VLOOKUP, which requires the lookup column to always be on the left. Index and match isn't limited to limited by column order. It has no hard-coded column numbers. Index and match allows dynamic column selection without relying on a fixed column numbers. You can look up values in any column, even if the, your data is rearranged.
It is more robust. Your formula won't break if the columns are added or deleted in the dataset. We look at formulas often fail in that case. It, gives, it, is, it performs better on large data sets. It's generally faster than VLOOKUP in large data sets, making it ideal for more complex Excel files. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Excel Flow Quick Hacks, like, comment, and share, and do let us know which formulas you would like us to break down next. Thank you.